Hello. Here's a little walkthrough or a little how-to on the cycle item visibility add-on for a blender. Uh, as we see, we got a little scene right here. We have all our items up here. We got a collection. If you head down to this tab right here, cycle item visibility, we have we can set some default settings, enable or disable it. Uh, this is a start frame and when you want it to start on. Here's the end frame and the interval at which you want to hide items at. Uh, we have a load button here, and then here we have an item selected. Uh, we'll, <coughs> excuse me, a load a file. Our file contained a plane, a cube, a cone, a torus, and test. So we have the name, the interval set within the text file, which I'll show you in a second, and then what this item was. This one's an object, we have another object, another object, another object. COL stands for collection. So it'll toggle the plane for 18 frames. The cube doesn't have anything set within the text file. So that will go to the default setting of 50 frames that we have set up here. Uh, the cone will go for eight seconds, or excuse me, eight frames. Uh, the torus for 31 frames. And then a test for the test collection for 20 frames. Let's start at the beginning here. Cycle through. We can change items, we can change some of these default settings on the fly, so we'll change this to 20, which that will affect the cube, since the cube doesn't have anything selected in the test file. And there's that. I'll show you the text file right now, how that thing is formatted. And this is how you would format the text, the test, <coughs> excuse me, the text file, uh, the name of your object. If you include a pipe after that, which is the button just above the enter key on a PC, I'm not sure what that is on a, a Mac. And then whatever number that you enter, that would be the frames that that particular item will be shown for. So the plane will be or, or showing that the plane is gonna be shown for 18 frames. The cube doesn't have a pipe or anything, so that will go to the default settings of whatever you have in the, uh, the panel. Uh, the cone for eight frames, a torus for 31 frames, and then we have a uh, bracket, C-O-L bracket. That signifies that whatever word follows that or whatever item, item follows that is going to be a, a collection. And then that this particular test collection will be shown for 20 frames. As you've seen with some of the earlier settings, you can change things on the fly while the timeline is still running. Uh, right now, we'll, <clears throat> we'll make a little change to the test file or to the text excuse me, the text file. Uh, we'll, we'll remove the collection and we'll add Suzanne into it for an interval of uh, let's say 15 frames. Uh, the script will also test for items listed within the text file that might have been mistyped or fat fingered that are not in the uh, your Blender project. So we'll just write in BS test. We'll put another one up here. Oh, let's hit this right. Fake name. We'll save that and we'll reload the file. And you'll notice when we re reload the file, the item selected through this little menu right here is going to change. So we're reloading the file. If you enter an item in your text file that's not found in your scene, you'll receive a little error message like this. It's the normal message box that comes up in Blender. And we've seen everything stay the same. The test collection is no longer listed, and the Suzanne is. And we'll start from the beginning. There we go. One thing to note on this is if you hide a collection, like earlier we had the test collection hidden, uh, I'll go through and show, show you this. Okay, so right now I just made an edit to the text file. 
uh, added back the collection here, the test collection, and also have Suzanne listed here. Suzanne is within that test collection. This creates an issue because when the script cycles through everything and it hides the test collection, it'll also hide Suzanne. It hides every single item within that. So you cannot select, you cannot hide a collection and also try to hide a Suzanne or a Suzanne, an item within it. Uh, let's go here. Make it a little easier here. I'll scrub through the timeline. So right now, if you pay attention to items being hidden up here, right now you'll see that the test collection is hidden. So being that the whole collection is hidden, there's no way to unhide Suzanne with this particular case without creating a couple loops within the, the code. And being that this add-on uh, functions under when the uh, project gets rendered. I was trying to make it as streamlined as possible and have it do as little work so it would affect the rendering process as little as possible. Uh, unless I find a, a more efficient way of doing this, uh, as it is right now, you cannot hide a collection and an item within that collection. This is going to bring this little how-to to an end here. Uh, there's a couple links down in the description below of where you can download it from. Also, there'll be a link to the Blender Artist site where the main thread for this uh, add-on will be at. Uh, you can post any questions that you have in either of the places, and best of luck to you. Hope you enjoy. Take care.